Praise the Lord. It's so wonderful to see everyone um, receiving together as we stand together in agreement. This is one of the things that are so important is agreement. We must be in agreement. Hallelujah. And I love it because the spiritual temperature of this place is really, really good. So we know that we know we're going to see wonderful miracle signs and wonders take place. Yes. Yes, and church is a place that you should come to. Whatever church you come to, you come, receive deliverance and healing, and you go out set free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is what we're doing at Christ Healing Center in Durban, South Africa. We do healing schools, uh, a lot of healing teaching to help people uh, to move ahead um, with their ministries as well. But it's wonderful to see people's lives changed and set free as they come along and as we preach the word with signs and with wonders following. Praise the Lord. He is so good. So this is our last day um, here in in California, and it's really uh, wonderful. It's our last service, at least, in California, and we'll be on to New Jersey next at the beginning of next week. But, um, yeah, God is, is already doing some wonderful miracles. And I want to please encourage you to, before we leave today, to share your testimonies. Today, there are so many people that are ashamed and they're so scared of what people will say. You know, in these last days, we can't be like those people. Um, we need to be a fool for Christ. I don't know about you, but I'm going to be a fool for Christ. Yeah. Yeah. And and people have, you know, have said, uh, you know, they've come against the manifestations and all of that. um, But it happened in the Bible. Many people have manifested. Yeah. We all have manifested in some way to receive our healing and deliverance. So please be open to the movings of the Spirit today. Let us let the Lord flow unhindered so that we can see his glory in our lives. People need this ministry, friends. People need healing and deliverance. Ephesians 6 speaks about that our fight is not against flesh or blood. We're not fighting our neighbor. We're not fighting our friends or our boss. But we're fighting the powers and the principalities that are behind this. That's what we need to understand. So when we understand that, we can love our neighbor because, or we can pray for our neighbor. Yeah, we've done that many times where if uh, our neighbor's playing loud music, we bless them, we rebuke the spirits behind them, and it's not that long. Uh, It happened the other day, in fact, I was like, Okay, that's wonderful. Praise the Lord, they had stopped it. But uh, yeah, we can do so much in the Spirit if we could just understand what the Lord has given us. Yeah, some people are saying, I hope God will use me someday. Um, You know, the, the command is to go, just go. Just go out into all the world, yes, and you will see the glory of God. So I want to speak to you today about establishing the faith to believe. Yes, so our growth in the Lord does not only come when we receive the healing, but it comes through really seeking Him with all of our heart. It comes through getting into the Word of God and establishing that relationship with Him as we draw close to Him, meditating on the Word day and night, acting upon it, And then our faith begins to grow. So, you know, our faith can grow when we receive that healing. Yeah, that definitely does. But I have found over the years that my faith has grown by just acting upon the Word and by reading the Word of God and just establishing that relationship. So often we want the hand of God. We want the anointing. We want the power. I always say to people, I never asked for the power. I didn't ask for these. I just wanted him. You know, and I believe we need to get to that point where we just want him. Whatever you want to do, Lord, you just come. Yes, if there's persecution, we're going to count it all joy. And believe you me, it comes because of the word. Start to share your testimony and persecution will come. Why? The devil doesn't like it. But which side of the boat are you going to stand on? 
Nah, I'd rather share it and, and just endure the persecution. So we've had a lot of persecutions. We've come up between, uh, we've come up against councils, uh, councils uh, telling us to stop and all these things, but we're still going, yeah. So, yeah, the devil can try, and he will try because he doesn't like it. He comes to steal the word. He'll come to steal, he'll even try to steal your deliverance, but don't let him. You know, you need to walk out of here, whether you felt something or not, saying, thank you, Lord, I'm delivered, I'm healed. So there's a pain there? Thank you, Jesus. Oh, you know, if you keep in speaking, Jesus in the wilderness was just speaking it out, you know. He was speaking out the word. He says, man shall not live uh, by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. So he was speaking back to Satan in the wilderness. And the only way you're going to defeat it or have effects of prayer in your life or even in your ministries is to speak the word of God over your situation. So you're being prayed for and that cancer's still there. Well, you just keep on saying, thank you, Jesus. I know I am healed. And that is how I have got over everything everything. I'll take the Word of God and I'll begin to apply it in my, in my life and speak it over and over again. Thank you, Lord, that by your stripes I am healed. The devil does not want you to speak that. He would rather you speak about all your problems. Bring your shopping lists. We have a lot that come up with shopping lists. Come and tell us all your problems. Huh? No, Jesus wants... <laughs> You to speak his word. Yeah. And that's why for many it takes a little while to receive healing because they still want to speak the problem. And it's not that we're denying the facts. The facts is the pain may be there. But the truth is going to set you free when you understand that by his stripes you were healed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> So James 1 verses 5 says, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given. It doesn't say it shall be given, it actually says it will. So ask him now, ask him for wisdom. Ask him, we need it. We need wisdom in our lives. So over the years, I've come to realize that my growth in the Lord um, came through much time spent in the Word and just applying it. And I've seen wonderful victories take place. And the more I've done it, the more the anointing has just grown. Yeah. So believing God's Word is not just reading it or saying, I believe it. It's actually putting it into action and trusting that he will come through. Yeah. And some people say, what happens if it doesn't happen? What happens if it does? Why are you speaking negatively? Come now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I always like to quote the scripture in Amos 3 verses 3. Can to walk together unless they be agreed. If you understand that, catch the revelation of what that scripture is saying, you will only speak God's word. Yeah. Because that is how we see the blessings flow, by being in agreement with him. And when we step out of agreement or we speak, you know, we have to be careful because we're justified and condemned by the words that we speak. So no matter what you're going through, we want to speak the victory. I always say to people, I believe we'll see the goodness of God. I believe we'll see the glory of God. And I've seen the glory. I see it all the time. Because I speak it all the time. What are you saying? What are you saying all the time? What, what are you saying in your heart? Remember the lady with the issue of blood? She had said in her heart that she knew that she could just touch the hem of the garment of Jesus and that she would be healed. And thousands of people were around her that same very day. Why didn't they get touched? Ah, it was her faith that had made her whole. Yeah, there was something different about this lady. She had placed a demand on the anointing that flowed. And she had just thought in her heart that if she could just get to that garment and touch it, that she would be healed. 
And she was. You know, no, the Lord will meet you at that very place, at how you believe. So often, even as I said yesterday, it's a tongue problem. Yeah. We need to learn to speak God's word over ourselves. And I know I say that all the time, but it is so true. Because sometimes we are praying for people, and then they come back at the end of the service, and they say, can you pray again? And then I say, but when I prayed, did you believe? Yeah. Remember, we receive by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Not necessarily by manifestations. We know they're going to happen there. Uh, so many happen, and they will, and we understand they do because it's in the book of Acts. But we also understand what faith is. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not yet seen. We cannot see it in the physical, but we can see it in the spiritual. We see our healing. We see ourselves doing things when we were better. There are many people that have confessed and, and received their healing by even putting up pictures of when they were well and when they were doing things, and all of a sudden the strength comes back. Yeah. You know, if you lose your joy, you're going to lose your strength. Don't get out of joy. And when you do, get back into the Word and start renewing your heart. And this is what I've had to do over the years as well, with many people speaking, coming up, these demons speaking out against me as well. And sometimes I have gone home with some joy that has sort of flown out the window. But yeah, uh, I do my best now at just counting it all joy and speaking the word of God over my life. And I have received tremendous amount of healing just by speaking God's word over myself. Yes. So, praise the Lord. So, it's not just confessing that you believe him, but believing him in your heart and speaking it out by faith. So, Matthew 18, verses 3 to 4, and he said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of God. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And we even spoke about this yesterday, or perhaps at the teaching the other day, um, that a child just comes believing. Yeah, those really young children just come believing and knowing. And I believe that this is how the Lord wants us to even come up, just knowing that it will happen. But you may say, well, I've had this for 30 years, or I've been involved in the occult, or um, the cancers are really advanced. Doesn't matter, doesn't move me. Some people say, can you, have you ever seen healing in this area or that area? I say, absolutely, let's go for it. And let's believe for it, because all things are possible, possible with God and to them that believe. And I'm a believer. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's, that's all we are, believers. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, no matter the hardship, no matter the trials and the tribulations of life, Jesus has overcome it for us through the cross. And uh, even if those doubtful thoughts begin to come in, we need to take every thought captive. Yeah, that, that's such an important one in receiving. We need to take every thought that tries to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. We need to take those thoughts captive. And um, what are you meditating on all the time? Because what you focus on will become a reality in your life. Think about that. What are you focusing on? Focus on Jesus. He is your source. Not man. Not woman. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah, so... We must make sure that we meditate on his word day and night. And he even says that when we do that, we will become successful and prosperous. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So to grow in faith, our focus must be on what God is saying and not about what is happening around us or the statistics of what happened. Um, because you can change that. You can absolutely change it. Do you know that the devil can even change your medical reports? Yeah? 
He can do that. They have confessed about that so many times, how they twisted the reports and changed things. No. You know, we, that's why we need to just meditate on, on God's word. So praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we can't be like Thomas, uh, who said, I won't believe unless I see it. Hmm. You know, even if, if healing comes to pass, uh, they'll say, I can't believe this just happened. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, so, but you can say by his stripes, I am healed. But if deep down in your heart you believe that it's not going to happen, ah, you know, and say, I've been everywhere, I've tried everything, um, then your heart will win the battle. Your heart will always win the battle. Think about that. What are you believing in your heart today? This is so important, you know, when you come to, to realize what he's given us. And always think that one day when we get to see the Lord um, and he'll tell us the things that we could have done and that was available to us, but that because of our tongue or because of how we thought we didn't, you know, we didn't kind of make it to that stage. Um, yeah, it just makes us want to get deeper into the Word of God and find out His will for us. We know His will is healing and deliverance. We know His will is for us to prosper. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a sobering thought that to, to think of what we could have done. And, yeah, but I believe that if you just keep on going at something, you know, I just want to say something about this, this ministry. And uh, just in the beginning, in 2006, when I went into the ministry full-time, um, you know, I was, I just took the Word of God for what it said and started just laying hands upon people. I didn't expect people to fall out in a denominational church and to be kicked out and to be persecuted and, uh, yeah, even punched and all these things along the way. But I just carried on going. There may have been a time when I nearly gave up, but no, we didn't get that close. But we kept on going. Eugene and I, over the years, we just kept on going. If one person or two people came, we did it. We put the praise and worship on, and we praised, and we praised. We went home, yes, we cried. Lord, where are the people? <laughs> but I just want to encourage you, keep on believing for your miracle. Whatever it is, whatever the problem, whatever the mountain may seem in your life, if you keep on going, if you are faithful, the Lord will take you to places that you never dreamed were possible. And I thank God for that. Yes, so, yes, we cannot let the devil allow access to our minds. This is how he comes in to people's minds. This is how he brings in fear, doubts, schizophrenia. If he can just get through your mind, then he has got access. Do not let him in. He is a liar and he is a defeater and he knows that. Don't give him that power. So 1 Peter 5, 8 says, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. That's what he's doing. Day in, day out. Just looking around to see somebody who would give in to his thoughts and confess all the weaknesses and all of that. He looks for that weakness to come in. So he looks for things like unforgiveness and idolatry and witchcraft and wrong mindsets to give him access. So, yeah, you know, as I say, many have even testified in South Africa at our services have been healed of, of sickness and poverty, um, not only received their deliverance, but um, I speak a lot on, on maintaining it as well. And many of them have been able to keep their deliverance and healing by making a heart's decision to renew their mind. And they, they determined to maintain it in the Word. Yeah. So it's, it's really wonderful. 
how when the word is just begin to take uh, root within the heart, how the Lord begins to confirm it in lives. And for some, it's instant. For some, it's over a week. And for some, it could even be over a few years. But you need to just stand on the word and thank the Lord that it is done. You know, there was a lady uh, at a service not too long ago, and I had prayed for her eyes, and nothing happened. And I just said, thank you, Lord. I believe that the Lord has healed you. And yeah, you know, her eyesight was, it was a bit blurry. And uh, then she was driving down the road, um, on the wrong side like we have there in South Africa. And, <laughs> and her eyes just started to open up. She took her glasses off and she was healed. Praise the Lord. Yes. Because she had said in her heart, and she said to me just before she left the service afterwards, she said, I'm going to believe, I'm going to look for it to happen. I said, thank you. Thank you for operating in God's word, you know, and believing it, that, that it will happen. She says, I'm determined it'll happen. But she could see she was a bit doubtful. But, you know, the Lord will move, even, even if you've got a little bit of doubts. I've seen him so many times just, just come through so mightily. And her, her eyesight's completely healed, and she's maintained it as well. Because if it starts to go back again, by his stripes I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. I am prospering. I'm blessed. Hallelujah. Prosperity gospel. <laughs> no, but this is faith, you see. God wants us to prosper and be in good health, even as our soul is prospering. So this defeated mindset must go. And you must say in your heart today, say enough is enough. I'm not going to put up with this. If Jesus died upon the cross so that I could have life in abundance, there's no reason why I have to live in sickness and defeat and poverty. Yeah. Yeah. We see a lot of this in South Africa. We have to speak it. We say you are, your finances are prospering. Speak it. It doesn't matter where you've come from or who you are. God is not a respecter of persons. So it doesn't matter. What only matters is how you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. That's what matters at the end of the day. So Jesus has already healed us. He's already purchased our healing on the cross. In Psalm 103, verses 1 to 3, says, it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals some of your diseases? Ah, oh. oh, all of the diseases. Yes. So verse 2 specifically tells us not to forget all his benefits. So the benefits of healing, deliverance, and uh, yeah, even all diseases. Yeah. But when you think about in 1 Peter 2 verses 24, it confirms it by saying, who, who his own self bear our sins in his body on the tree, that we, being, what's the condition? Dead to sins, should live unto righteousness by whose stripes you were healed. Okay, so that comes with a condition that we need to confess our sins because we know that he's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So we want to even now be sitting there in the congregation just forgiving those who have hurt us. Forgiveness will bring healing in your life today. If you hold on to it, don't expect it. He says, you know, if you come to the altar and you have ought, no, rather go back. You know, it's better, it's better to not receive deliverance than to receive it and lose it. Do you know why? Do you know why? Seven more wicked spirits can come back. And then you can come back and say, she prayed for me, but seven more wicked spirits came back. And say, so whose fault is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have some we pray for on, on a Sunday, and they go back to um, these rituals and ceremonies on a Monday. And then they come back the following week 
for healing and deliverance prayer. And then they wonder why things got bad. And they can't understand it. Yeah. It's sad. It really is. You know, he's a jealous God. He'll visit the iniquity down to the third and the fourth generations of them that seek idols. Hmm. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So, so both Psalm 103 and 1 Peter 24 actually mentions the benefits of forgiveness of sins and physical healing. So, yeah, God is not a man that he should lie. And it's for you. It's for me. Yeah. So get that deep down in your heart today. And uh, just think about it. Jesus could only do a few miracles in his hometown, and that was because of their unbelief. Yeah, some people say, well, that person got touched, but I didn't. Well, I believed. <laughs> you know, <laughs> think about that. <laughs> yeah, so God has already healed you. We need to just understand the truth that sets us free. You know, it's the known truth that sets us free. It's the truth that you know. If you don't know it, then you don't know it. You know, some people say, what is, is God's will for my healing? Well, if we haven't read in the Word of God that it is, he says, I am willing, be healed, that we may doubt in our hearts. That's why it's so important to get into the Word of God. The anointing flows when you speak the Word, and nothing but the Word, so help me, God. <laughs> Yeah, so John 6, verses 30, 63 says, It is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. Your flesh is going to profit nothing. That's why I say to some pastors that I pray for, don't push them over. Don't push them over. It's going to, you know, produce no results. Let the Holy Spirit move. Yeah, he can do all the work. Yeah, praise the Lord, because it says the words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. So every word that proceeds from the mouth of God is spirit and life, and it will produce in you a harvest if you keep at it. Yes, so yeah, it's definitely the truth that sets us free. So Jesus has already done his part, so we're going to appropriate his word in our lives today, and we're going to see this wonderful miracles, signs, and wonders happen again, just like we did yesterday, and even greater shall he do today, because we believe it, we stand in agreement, and we know that it is done. So, yes, I believe that we will see the glory of God. So, this is what we must keep in saying to ourselves. You know, I've said this uh, over the years and over the years when nothing has happened, I believe we will see the glory of God. Even if it hurt me to say that, I kept on saying, I believe we will see. I believe we'll go to America. We said, I remember I said to, um, are we in America? Yes, we are. <laughs> so I said to Eugene in 2010, it was about 2010, I said, we need to get on over there. And uh, so it took us 14 years, but we <laughs> But we kept on speaking it. So this is the, what I'm saying is if you speak the word of God over your life today, now I've said this so many times, and I know that it's going to get in your heart today, because I have seen the goodness of God. I have seen the supernatural. I have seen dreams and visions and demons leaving people. And so many things happen because I have tried to die to self. And uh, I'm still a work in progress at that. But I believe that the Lord can do anything in anyone's life. And I know that it's going to happen today because I simply believe his word is true for my life. Yes. So... Praise the Lord. I'm so thankful that we prayed the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That is just so important, and it's going to produce so much fruit in your lives today. And I want to encourage you. Um, I would say our ministry is birthed in praying in tongues. It edifies you. You've got to keep and speaking it, and eventually you will see the glory of God. So thank you for listening to me today. And I pray that that has stirred things in the spiritual realm today. 
um, that you would believe to see the glory of God attack and almost took my knee out where I couldn't even walk on it and I was fine before that I was working on our farm at the house moving mountains of stuff no problem at all just before we started the service something tried to take me out but Pastor Val prayed for me up in the stairs all the pain went away I'm still hobbling a little bit but I believe for my healing that God has already done it amen. thank you so much amen praise the Lord anyone else good afternoon brothers and sisters I just want to say and give the, all the honor and praise to our Lord Jesus Christ. I was telling sister here that I had a, re a peaceful, restful night last night. I could stretch my leg out without no pain, and I didn't have to g do my owls and oohs because I couldn't strain out my leg or, or hold it. But I, I know, and I want to show you something too. Hold on. With the leg straining out. Wow! <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Heal me, heal me. And when I used to stand up, my sisters and everybody could see. I used to wobble. I couldn't stand up straight. But I know the Lord gave me a brand new knee because I don't have no pain. And I know pretty soon I'll be walking with my prosthesis because the Lord knew the desires of my heart. Because I didn't want to be, uh, what do you call it, uh, a burden to anyone. And, and the Lord took my burden on that cross. Praise the Lord. That's really awesome. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Is there anyone else who wants to share, ma'am, if you want to quickly come up? We're going to make this brief because I know that we're going to get busy shortly. Doing the work of the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. I've had pains on my feet, and last night I came in a uh, evangelist vow, pray for me. When I went outside the, the, the outside my vehicle, I tried to do this, there was no pain. I jumped around the vehicle, there was no pain. <laughs> and I went just saying, The Lord has done it. The Lord has done it. So I'm free. This has been over 30 years. Yes, I'm free. Praise the Lord. So that has helped increase your faith. Amen. Yes. Well, I'm here as a surprise. My, my good friend Ruthie invited me in Alta and uh, didn't expect to come today. But I'm sitting here, and as y'all are, are, are singing in this angelic language, and, and I'm just accepting. My finger, can't, when I came in, was like this. Yeah. I have not clapped. <laughs> and wow. the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, be healed. Thank you, Lord. So, praise the Lord. So, I want to encourage you at the end of the service, go up to either Eugene or Jason or perhaps even Juan, and we will record your testimony on our cell phones, or perhaps I'll even do that too. Praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. So, I want to encourage you um, to go through Patty first. Let's have about five people up at a time. Okay. Okay, we can go row by row. Okay. Praise the Lord. And friends, don't be ashamed to come up. Yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're going to see the glory of God today. Amen. Are you all ready to receive? I'm going to start to pray while, they, while they're sitting up there. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for deliverance, for healing right now. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you, Father, for every unclean spirit, every witchcraft, every demon right now to come out of the people. In Jesus' mighty name. How are you, ma'am? How can I pray? Um. Just pray for you. Yes. Okay. Just come forward. I want I want to pray against the spirit of fear as well. Okay. Okay. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke every spirit of fear. Come out of her. 
Come out of her right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Get out. We rebuke every witchcraft, every demon right now. Come out. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out. I rebuke the spirit of fear right now. Hurt, anxiety right now. Come out of her heart. Come out of her heart right now. Every wicked spirit right now, go. Release, release in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Just just stand behind her, okay? Thank you, Jesus. How can I pray for you? Um, I've got injured on my job, um, my hands at, at work. And you injured your hand? Okay. Both. Okay. How, how long has it been like this? About two years now. About two years, and so you're struggling with pain? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's pray for it. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we rebuke this pain. I want you to put out your arms like that, just further out like that. Okay, because your arms are slightly apart, okay? Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke all this pain right now. We command these arms to go into alignment right now and be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke all this pain. Come out. Come out of her right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out. Spirits of pain, go in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. How can I pray for you? Um, I've been dealing with a lot of anxiety, confusion, not knowing if God is talking to me or not. And I've been, um, and a few other things that I've been having for like one and a half years, two years, intrusive thoughts, going back to like, uh, I, don't, I don't even remember, like nine years. Don't worry, they're not from you. It's just the devil trying to bring them into your mind. Okay, sometimes it even comes through like watching, you know, these, these children's things or games or anything like that. Let's, let's pray. Just come forward a bit. I wonder if everyone can just come a bit forward because I don't want anyone knocking themselves on the stage. In Jesus' mighty name, we rebuke the spirits of anxiety. Come out. Come out. Every evil spirit right now. Get out. Get out of him. In Jesus' mighty name, go. Release. Release every wicked spirit right now. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out of his heart right now. You wicked demons right now. You loose your grip and come out of him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 How are you? I'd like prayer for um, some neck and head pain. Neck and head pain. Okay. How long have you had it like that? Uh, Up and down like two years. Okay. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke all this pain. Come out of her. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed in Jesus' mighty name. How are you? Good. Uh, I have a number of things. Um, I was in an accident 12 years ago and um, had injuries to my discs in my neck and my low back and then my right foot because of it my left knee and then since then cataract in the left wow. eye and my heart <laughs> wow. so it's so would you like a new spine i'd like a new spine absolutely do you believe that jesus can do that yeah yeah well we're in agreement amen i love it Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your word says that you called things into being that didn't exist. Right now, we just speak a new spine into her right now. In Jesus' mighty name, rebuke all this pain right now, and we rebuke those cataracts right now. We command them to go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There they go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Out right now. Release. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. I know we'll see a testimony there. Thank you, Jesus. I wonder if we can have this this lady up. I need to come against a generational curse. Praise the Lord. Look forward to hearing back from you. There's down the generations, we need to pray and cancel a generational curse. Have you renounced things of the past? I've recently been um, doing a lot of, um, yes. Uh, renouncing and uh, repenting of generational curses, idolatry in the past, and my parents worship. Praise the Lord. 
So, so this is why this deliverance is coming quite quickly for you. So I always find that if deliverance isn't taking place that quickly, it's, we need to renounce things and we need to forgive as well. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke these devils. Come out of her, every familiar spirit, unclean spirits, witchcraft, go, release in Jesus' mighty name. Come out, come out right now. Right now, right now, I rebuke these marine spirits right now. Get out. Get out of her body. Get out of her body. Generational curses, go. Release. Release. Out. Out of the family line. In Jesus' mighty name, go. Out of the family line. Get out. Get out. You will leave. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. You will leave. In Jesus' mighty name, come out. Come out. Come out. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 How are you doing today? How are you doing after the prayer yesterday? Um, I believe that I will see the glory of God. I love that. I love that. So we want to continue to pray? Amen. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, we rebuke every devil right now sent to destroy. Come out. Come out, you snakes. Come out. You witchcraft demons, come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. So there's quite a few in her, and many have already left her last night. So more are coming out in Jesus' name. Come out. Come out. Come out right now. I rebuke you, thief. Come out. Come out. Spirits of destruction, come out. Go. Go. Come out. Come out. Witchcraft. Witchcraft, come out. Get out, witchcraft. Get out. Get out right now. Right now. You experience pain in your leg? Every so often. Okay. It's going now. In Jesus' mighty name, rebuke that pain. We rebuke those devils right now. And often you'll see a lot of attacks come out if you're a minister and you move on out. All of a sudden the attacks start to happen. That's why we spoke about the Word of God. And the only thing that can deliver us from these attacks is the Word of God. Come out of her. Come out of her. Generational curses, witchcraft, witchcraft, Freemason. Now, I'm sure I came against that last night. Come out, come out. You see, the stones are crying out. <laughs> come out, come out. In Jesus' mighty name, get out, get out, you witchcraft. Your time is over. You will go. Every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is king. Amen. I just need somebody to catch her. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Get out. Get out. Get out. You see, in the book of Acts, we see how they... They throw people around in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Come out, come out, come out, come out, you snake. Come out, come out, come out right now. Get out in Jesus' name. Amen. How are you, sir? Good. Good. Yeah. How can I pray for you? Yeah, I'm here to may God break the generation curse, and I have a problem in this, and I leave a problem. Yeah, generational curse. Okay, let's, let's get rid of it. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke this generational curse. We break the power over him right now. Every evil spirit from the past right now, come out of him. Come out of his eyes. Come out of his body right now. Get out of his body. Get out of him right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, go. Release. Release. In Jesus' name, come out. Come out. Come out. Thank you, Jesus. How are you feeling now, sir? Yeah. It's gone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
how are you? I'm doing okay. Yeah. Um, I just recovered. The Lord just healed me from cancer. Cancer. Yeah. I. Where is the cancer? It's healed now. It's oh, it's healed. Now. Thank I you, Jesus. Clean up right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. For having bad dreams, anything like that. Just want to. Bad dreams. Are you eating in the dreams? Yes. Ah, oh, okay. Because when you eat in the dreams, it puts uh, stuff in the stomach. Have you got any stomach issues? Uh -huh. uh, my, um, yeah, just not, not, not much, but uh, I have a dream that there's a, it's a wall, a really huge wall like that. I think just a couple of days ago, it's a cement and it fell up and, you know, overlap me. What, and you escaped. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke every witchcraft, every demon right now. I command it to come out, to come out in Jesus' name. If you can stay here. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, come out. Come out. Get out, you witchcraft, you demons, you generational curses right now. Get out. We rebuke any spirit of cancer that may be there right now. Come out. In Jesus' mighty name, come out. We rebuke you, Satan. Get out. Be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. How can I pray for him? Um, okay. Um, okay. He's been to the church. They killed a problem now. Okay. Yeah. So the Lord just opened his eye for this couple of months that he sees spiritual things heavily. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. And, uh, uh -huh. yeah. Jesus loves you? Yes. And the generational curses. So we're going to get rid of spirits of lust and generational curses. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke the spirits of lust, every generational curse, every marine spirit right now. Come out. Come out right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, get out. We rebuke you, Satan. Come out. Come out of him right now. Get out of his body right now. Get out of every part of his body right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 How can I pray for you? Yeah, she's having the issue like spiritual, you know. Spiritual husband. husband. Yeah, okay. Like that and other things, like generational curse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's an easy one to get out. Husband and wife, eh? Yeah. See and she doesn't see, but okay. Let's get rid of that spirit. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke every generational curse right now. Spiritual husband, come out. Come out, spiritual husband, get out. Get out of her right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke you right now. We break your power. Come out. Come out. Come out of her. Come out of her right now. You will come out and you will not return. In Jesus' mighty name. There it goes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. How can I pray for you? Swelling in my eyes. It's been like over a week. Okay. Stand there. Let's, let's pray. Swelling in your eyes. Just over a week. Well, we can pray. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke the swelling right now. Every demon right now, come out. That's caused this. Come out in Jesus' name. We command those eyes to clear up, to be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out. Get out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I want to just go back to this lady here. Okay. Because we need to get rid of all these spirits. So there's been quite a bit. Okay. Anyone in the family line uh, struggling? Um. <laughs> a large amount of them. A large amount of them. Okay. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke this generational curse. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Go. Go. Release. 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 Fire of God. Go. 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 Come out. So she wanted to go back to her seat. Amen. You don't want to go back home with these demons, eh? No, kick them to the curb. They have no right. No right in Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Go, go. Release, release, release. Release witchcraft. Come out. 
Okay, there it goes. We're going to turn up the fire right now. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Out of her head. The demons are in her head. Come out. Release. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, go. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, so thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, amen. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. How can I pray? I was, I was a heroin addict for 20 years, and I've been clean and sober for 28, but three years ago, I got really sick. I had veins um, erupted in my esophagus, and then um, they told me I had cirrhosis of the liver. But I say no. No. Yes, you've got it. I love that. I love that. So you're already speaking the miracle even before you see it. Amen. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke every spirit of cirrhosis of the liver right now. Come out of her right now. Come out of her right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we speak a new liver into her body right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We command that devil to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You know, the Lord is so gracious and just to forgive us and to cleanse us. And I believe he wants to heal our spirit, soul, and body. And I also believe that it's good to eat well. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. How are you? You wait up there and let's continue to pray. New liver, huh? You need a new pancreas as well. We speak a new pancreas as well. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you've got diabetes, put your hand right there, right there. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we speak a new pancreas into their bodies right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. How can I pray for you? Well, the doctor's reports say that I have high cholesterol, but I say I choose to believe God's. Yes. Yes. High cholesterol's out the window. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. And they do. They go out the window. They go into arid places. <laughs> yeah. They go out, as we say in South Africa. <laughs> yeah. So that's Afrikaans. Um, okay. Get out. Get out. In Jesus' mighty name. Get out. Get out. In Jesus' name. So this, this proves a lot. This proves what we're fighting against, okay? In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. How are you? Good. You're ready to shine for your light has come. The glory of the Lord rises upon you. Amen. How can I pray? Well, I'm already healed, but... I love it. Uh, I just came because all my girls are coming, so I wanted to get blessed, too. Yeah. You know, because I'm having a lot of fun here today. Oh, but, me too. <laughs> but I did get a bad diagnosis about um, with hardening of the arteries just on one side. and Hardening well, of the believe, arteries. I don't believe the report. And we, I've been Amen. So we want to rebuke those yeah. demons as well and get them out. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke those demons that are hardening the arteries right now. We're commanded to come out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we command those blood vessels to open up and be yes. healed in mm. Jesus' mighty name. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. How can I pray for you? Well, I think it's um, might be generational curses because I have diabetes from down down the line. The generations. Yeah. And also the hormonal imbalances that uh, feelings go up and down. Mm -hmm. 
And so, yeah. So we need to get rid of it. Right. Yes. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke these devils right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I'm going to pray against the spiritual husband here right now. In Jesus' mighty name, rebuke every spiritual husband, every demon right now. Coming against her. Come out. Come out. Come out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, release. Release. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. You receive that by faith. In Jesus' name. Amen. Should we get this lady up? <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, we'll come back to you. How are you? Good. How can I pray? We just just pray. I like it. How can I pray? You just pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we bless them. In Jesus' mighty name, we break off everything. That is of the devil. Anything, Lord, that is coming against their progress right now, come out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, come out. Come out of them right now. Come out. Come out of her stomach. Come out. Release her stomach right now. In Jesus' mighty name, come out. Come out. Come out. Come out of her heart. Go. Release. Release. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, bless them. Bless them, Lord. Bless them. You pray for the sick. You praying for people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I want to continue to pray for this lady. Thank you, Jesus. Come out. Come out. I rebuke the sickness right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, go. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to speak a new liver into you as well. We speak that new liver in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. How are you, sir? Sir, baby, um, I feel like dying. You feel like dying? Yeah, I don't want to live no more. Why? Because my life is so screwed up, and I just want to go home. But you know, Jesus can do anything for you, hey? Jesus loves you. In other words, it says, I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. I'm so scared of going to hell. But um. I know Jesus loves me. Yes. And, but I don't feel like living no more. Oh, let me just pray for this gentleman. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we rebuke the spirit of death. We rebuke the lies of the devil. The lies of the devil over this man right now. Just put your hand towards him. Let's rebuke the spirit of death. Come out. Come out right now. We rebuke spirits of death over this man right now. In Jesus' mighty name, we command it to come out. To come out in Jesus' mighty name. And Father, we pray that your love, Lord, Father, would just come upon him. We just thank you, Lord, for a spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. His life is not up. The Lord will declare his goodness in him, in Jesus' mighty name. And that just takes when two or three agree, it is done. Yeah. Amen. How can I pray for you? Um, I have um, anxieties and fear. Okay. Can you come with him? Yeah, he's my husband. He's your husband. We're separated right now. Okay. Okay, so there's, there's, there's a lot going on there, eh? Hey? All right, so let's break off these things that are causing all these problems. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we rebuke these devils. I rebuke the spiritual husband. Come out. It's come to destroy right now, in Jesus' name. Come out. Come out of her right now. Release. Release. Release, release. I want you to forgive right now. Forgive, just forgive. Just release, release so that the deliverance can be permanent for you. Just forgive, Father, in Jesus' name. Are you having a, a problem with your spine? Come out, come out right now, in Jesus' mighty name. 
Thank you, Jesus. The spiritual husband is causing problems in the family. In Jesus' name, come out. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to, my anchor, I felt like last year, yeah. and I twisted, and the VA hadn't found out what's going on with it. It's just been having me going to, you know. Um, Your ankle. Okay, let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke all this pain right now in the ankle. Come out. Come out, you wicked demons right now. Come out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, get out. Get out. Get out of her right now. Your, de your demons of pain right now. Sickness, come out. In Jesus' name, move your foot now. How's that now? It's still kind of stiff. Just a little bit. Yep, let's keep them praying. In Jesus' name, we rebuke all this pain right now. Come out. Come out. We rebuke all these demons. Come out. Come out of her right now. Release. Release. Looks like it's loosening up. It is. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 How can I pray? Um, so um, I don't know what it is that I, God, I keep hearing it uh, someone told me that I'm able to do miracles. I'm not sure. But every demon that, like, you're casting out of people, I could feel them fly. I could feel them go by me, and I could... I could feel things, you know, in that other world. Okay, but you can't do miracles. Yeah, I can't. Only Jesus can. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. But, um, and he uses us like he's using you. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's what I mean. And, um, and I just want to know how to better hear him. Mm -hmm. it, like you're hearing him mm -hmm. and getting to that point to where, to where. Um, to so, so now he says, my sheep hear my voice. Okay, so as I was saying earlier on, the more we meditate upon the Word of God, the more we can hear Him. So I just want to encourage you, because the Lord has obviously called you, you know, into ministry. So you just keep on getting on into the Word. In the beginning of my ministry, I spent like eight, nine hours in the Word every day. I couldn't get enough of it. Couldn't get enough of it. Like I don't spend as much time as that now, but, but the Word comes in the heart, and, and that's the most important part of it. Uh, so, yeah, I think in essence we are spending that time in the Word because it's become in our hearts. And so I want to pray that the Lord would open your eyes to see, okay? Father, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray with his eyes to open, to see, to see your glory. Lord, as he lays hands upon the sick, let them recover in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We speak the anointing of God, the impartation right now to come upon him, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Use him mightily, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. All you have to do is go. He says, he said, go. He didn't leave it as an option. He just said, go on out. And as you step on out the boat, like Peter did, you will see the glory of God. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How are you? I thank you. Uh, my English not so good, oh, but that's so mine's not that good either. <laughs> I have a long time. I have uh, back problems, and the doctor all the time said you need the operation. But I continue believing in the Lord. Amen. I said, Lord, anything. Yeah. I wait for you, and Amen. I continue so many years with this problem. But I declare my my healing in the Lord. All Amen. Time. Yeah. Amen. Just come forward a bit. Let's pray. Let's speak a new spine. Huh? You need a new spine. Is there anything else you want? Yes. There's a whole warehouse of body parts there. So whatever you want, it's there for the taking. Yeah. What would you like? A spine? Yeah? Okay. All right. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke these devils right now. Send to destroy. Come out. In Jesus' mighty name, we speak in your spine in her right now. In Jesus' name, we rebuke all that pain right now. All these devils that have caused this problem, come out of her. Come out of her right now. In Jesus' mighty name, go. Release. 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 Come out of her right now. Come out of her body. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, come out. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 How can I pray for you? Um, 
if you could just pray for like, um, there's like sometimes a spirit of heaviness that comes and goes. Mm. Let's pray. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, we rebuke the spirit of heaviness right now. Come out. Come out, depression. Get out, fear. Fear. I curse the spirit of fear right now. I curse this wicked spirit of fear. Come out of her right now in Jesus' name. Release. Release. Come out of her body right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, go. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Come out of her. Come out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, somebody, can somebody catch her? In Jesus' mighty name, come out. Come out. Come out. Idolatry, witchcraft. Idolatry. Come out. Come out. Come out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come in. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Did you come with her? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Me so who, she, how is she related to you? Um, she's a friend. We go to the same church. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. Church friend. Awesome. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. She's been tormented. A lot of fear there. Okay. All right. But it's coming down the generations. She yeah. went through a deliverance thing and has been seeking it out. And so it keeps coming back. And oh. Day, day oh, yes, for sure. But she must maintain it right now. In Jesus' mighty name, come out. Come out. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. You marine spirits right now. Marine spirits, witchcraft. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' mighty name, come out. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' mighty name. You will get out. You will get out. Get out of her body. Get out of her body. Who are you in this body? Your time is up. I command you to get out. Yes, you will. You will get out. You will get out. You snake, get out. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Keep on saying thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. You stay down there. We'll continue to pray. Praise the Lord. How are you? Good. I just want prayer. Okay. In, in what way? Just pray. Yeah. Father, in Jesus' name, we break off whatever is attached to him that is not of God right now. In Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask you to touch him and heal him in every possible way, from the top of his head to the tips of his toes, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Rebuke every unloving spirit right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Is this your husband? Wonderful. Can you pray for me to be delivered from smoking? I can. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that takes some discipline, hey? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke the spirit of addiction right now. Come out of her. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, come out. Come out right now. Go. Release. Release. Come out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We believe by faith. Amen. Amen. How are you? Good. You all connected. Okay. Okay. Let me pray for you. Thank you. I just want to be fully clean vessel, so just repent of, of any just pride, um, gossip. Uh, no, wow, it's hard to think clear. Um, pride, <laughs> gossip. It's all of it. It's, it's spirit of fear and delay. That's it. Delay and setbacks. Okay. And let's get rid of it. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, rebuke this delay right now. 
the setbacks, the delays. Come out. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Get out, we rebuke you right now. Come out, in Jesus' mighty name. Get out, get out, witchcraft. Witchcraft, come out, in Jesus' mighty name. Come out, come out, right now. Release, release. You will get out, you will get out now, now. I'm counting to three, and you will get out. One, two, three. Come out. Come out. Come out. Go. In Jesus' name, go. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. How can I pray? I just, um, I'm having a little trouble sleeping, and I'm dealing with um, unforgiveness. I would like to get rid of that. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke this unforgiveness right now, this hurts. And Lord, Father, as she nails it to the cross right now, Lord, we thank you for healing in her body. In Jesus' name, just release her. Just release that person right now. Just release them from your heart so that you can be free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Please come down. Let's uh, continue to pray. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. Oh, wonderful. I'm doing all right. Um, a few years ago, uh, I got delivered from suicide. Praise God. And uh, now How are you I, doing since then? I've just been battling, uh, uh, trying to figure out what my dreams are, you know, because I've been having dreams of the world ending and uh, people coming up to me and handing me scriptures in my dreams. And I, I'm sitting there just like, I, I, I want to know what, you know, what it is. You know, I don't, I don't know that. You know, I'm just, I want to have more knowledge. I'm just praying for knowledge. Let's pray. Let's pray and ask the Lord to reveal. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke every devil's, every devil coming against him right now in his dreams right now. Every spirit sent to destroy in Jesus' mighty name, the Lord is wanting you to preach the word. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He's handing you the word, the word to preach. In Jesus' name, come out. Come out, come out. Come out right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. We rebuke every spirit right now, spirits of death. Come out. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord's going to use you mightily. Okay. You know, I, I write. Uh, I write rhymes. I'm a spoken word poet, and um, oh, all my poems. I've been writing about drugs, girls. You know, like gangs and all that. And uh, I've been writing recently a lot. You know, these past two years about God, and ever since I've been delivered from suicide. You know, and and I've been writing nothing but that. And in there. And one of my dreams, I had a, a family member who passed away who came up to me and told me that uh, God is going to use my poems. And I don't, I don't say my, nothing about yeah. my poems to anybody. Yeah, but he's giving you the word. He's giving you the word and the dream. So you need, he's telling you to speak the word of God, to speak the word of God over yourself. Mm, amen. 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 How can I pray for you? This is Spanish only. Okay. She needs a prayer for healing for her, to, her hearing, her stomach, and her knees. So just. Tienes un hombre que te viene en tus sueños, alguien que te viene a visitar en los sueños. Okay, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke these devils. Come out, come out of her right now, in Jesus' mighty name. Just stand, stand there. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke a spiritual husband right now. Go. Release. Come out of her right now. Because that's what these things do. Come out of her. Come out of her right now. Come out of her body. Release. Release. Get out. Get out of her heart. Get out, you wicked demons. Come out. Come out of her heart right now. Go. Release. In Jesus' name, I rebuke you, thief. 
I rebuke you, thief. Come out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, come out. There's poison in your stomach. The devil's put it in through the dreams. Come out. Has she been eating in the dreams? Come out. It's a spiritual husband. They go out very quickly. Thank you, Jesus. Because <clears throat> that's the way I believe. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Come out. Come out. And they can do so many things. They can break up marriages. They can cause sickness over every part of the body. They can disturb relationships. And it's all in the Bible. These spirits come out, and people are totally set free. And they come against your finances and so many things. Father, in Jesus' name, we declare her free. Thank you, Jesus. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Um, just, um, I have a high liver insides, and I'm just at risk of uh, ovarian cancer. Cancer? Uh, at risk. Just at risk of it. Okay. Let's pray. Just come forward a bit. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke these devils right now of sickness. I command them to come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her right now. Go. Get out. Get out. Spirits of infirmity, come out. Infirmity spirits right now, come out. Come out of her body. Come out of her digestive system right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we break the curse. I break a generational curse right now. Go. Release. Release generational curses. Come out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, go. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to just stay up there. How can I pray for you? I would just like for you to pray over me, just to clean me, any bad thoughts, any, anything that I've had. Get rid of those bad thoughts. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, we rebuke these devils. Come out. Come out right now. Go. Release. Release in Jesus' mighty name. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out, you wicked spirits, right now. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Get out. Get out, you devils. You devils. Can I tell you what I see right now? It's like my hand is going right through her. You know, like Jesus walked through walls. What greater work shall we do? Because, <laughs> you know, he, we, he goes to be with the Father. So it's like my hand is going right through her in the spirit. And, uh, and this is faith. This is all what faith produces in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. There's an anointing that the Lord is releasing in these last days. For each and every one that would just believe and step on out of the boat, there's nothing special about me. There's nothing special. You know, he's not a respecter of persons. So the more you do something, the more you're going to get it. Given, it shall be given unto you. It's not just for finances. But that would preach too. Amen. <laughs> Come out. Come out right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out of her. Come out of her. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Yes, you will. Come out. Witchcraft. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Linda, <laughs> how are you? Good. So if you remember, remember uh, the first time you saw me, uh, I had a demon on my back, and yes. you delivered me from that. Well, now I'm having trouble sciatica. Sciatica. Wow, let's get rid of it. Just come forward a bit. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke this pain, the spirit of sciatica. Come on out. Get out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, go. Release spirits of sciatica. Come out. Come out. 
In Jesus' mighty name, come out. Come out. Come out right now. In Jesus' mighty name. I'd like to get away from. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, come out. Come out. You spirits of sickness right now, come out. Thank you, Jesus. Move your woman. You're good. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 How are you? Um, I just need a complete deliverance from, I mean, healing. I have itchy hair, falling, pressure, blood pressure. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke these wicked devils right now. We command them to come out. Release. Release in Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Come out. Every wicked spirit right now sent to destroy, come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is working in you. Okay, I want you to just start speaking the word of God, okay? Because in your heart, you're saying something else, eh? Yes. 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 <laughs> Praise the Lord. How are you? Edelmira. ¿Cómo estás? Hasta aquí, a mí me duele mucho mi cadera y me siento... She's here, but her back hurts a lot. Yes, high um, blood pressure. High blood pressure. Okay. And the back is hurting. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke all this pain right now. We command it to come out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, come out. Come out. We rebuke high blood pressure. Every devil of infirmity, come out. Come out of her in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. So we just have to receive it by faith. Amen. Amen. How are you doing? Good. 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 Let's come forward a bit. Okay. Get out. Witchcraft in the family line. Come out. Come out, come out, come out, destroyer. Come out, in Jesus' mighty name, come out. Come out of her right now. Right now, destroyer, come out. I rebuke the destroyer. You will leave, you will leave, in Jesus' mighty name. You see, friends, at a certain point, um, I had so many demons shouting out at me that I actually asked the Lord to, to help stop that area. Okay, so they just go out now. So, yeah. Thank you, Jesus, because this one would have shouted out. In Jesus' mighty name, come out. Because the thing is, they're liars, you know. Devils are liars, so they do still speak up, but not as much as they used to, and I thank God for that. He knows the desires of my heart. I don't want to hear from them. I don't care for them. They must just pack their bags and go. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Lord. Come out. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name, go. Go. Get out. Spiritual husband, come out. In Jesus' name. So we're going to keep her up there. How can I pray for you? With the blood pressure and the inflammation of the hand. High blood pressure, right hand, okay. So that's this side. Uh, Eugene will know all about that. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I don't know the difference from my right or my left, but yeah. <laughs> In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke these devils right now. Spirits of high blood pressure, come out of her. Come out of her right now. In Jesus' mighty name, get out, get out, get out. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 And I know our team is watching at home, so to Israel and all of those at 2, 3 in the morning. 
God bless. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Should we give them a, a hand at, at home? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Should we continue to pray for this, this problem that you've got? Okay. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we rebuke these devils. Come out. Come out right now. Go. Release. Release. Wow. So they all went quite quickly today in Jesus' mighty name. Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. So we're wanting to get them all out. Sometimes we see lots of these manifestations happen. Okay. We're just wanting to get them all out. Come out. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. The Lord has totally delivered you. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. God is good. Thank you. Thank Amen. You. Yeah. How are you, sir? Good. How can I pray? Just pray anything. Just That's pray. Right. Yeah. We just break anything that is not of God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke every spirit, every spirit right now that is not of God. We command every demon to come out. In Jesus' mighty name, we rebuke every generational curse of sickness. Is there a sickness down the family line? Yes. My dad just passed away. Your dad days. just passed away. He was sick for a long time from? Uh, heart attack. Heart, heart attack. Yeah. High blood pressure. Yeah. Diabetes? No. Just high blood pressure. High pressure. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we rebuke the spirit of high blood pressure in the family line right now. We cut it off right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke spirits of death right now. High blood pressure, we break it in Jesus' mighty name. And condolences for your father. Our father, in Jesus' name, we give you thanks. How are you? Good. It's so good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of just want to pray for freedom of freedom. the mind. Freedom of the mind. Yes. That if there's something negative I feel has attached to me and my surroundings, mm -hmm. things move. I hear Let's things. get rid of it. Let's get rid of it. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke all this pain of the past right now, all these wicked devils right now. I command them to come out of her to come out of her in Jesus' mighty name. Come out of her right now. Death, go. Release, release, release. Can we have two people holding her? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke every spirit of death right now, every witchcraft, every demon right now. Go! You'll come out. You'll come out of her right now. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Come out, in Jesus' mighty name, come out. Come out of her right now, go, go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your time is up. She's called for greatness in the Lord, and she will fulfill her calling on her life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, she will. Yes, she will. In Jesus' name, come out. So sometimes we have to raise our voices at these demons and shout the hell out of them. Yeah. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out. Get out. Get out. Get out, you witchcraft. You take the sickness off of her. Take the sickness off of her right now in Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Get out. Get out. Get out. You will leave. Schizophrenia. Get out. Get out. Death. Get out. You will leave. You will leave in Jesus' name. Today is the day. Today is the day that she sees her blessing. Come out. In Jesus' name, go. 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 Get out. Get out. You wicked spirit. Take your hands off of her right now. Take your hands off of this family line. Generational curse. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. I'm rebuking a tattoo. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out. Yes. Come out. Come out. You have no right in her body. You will leave now, 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 now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just leave her there to, to manifest as the Lord is, is healing her. Let's have some more people up for prayer. How are you doing? I am doing. <laughs> How are you doing? I am doing. <laughs> That's one way of putting it, huh? Yes. Okay. I, I have pain 24-7 in my body. And wow. all around your body? Uh, yes. Alpha myalgia. Mm -hmm. That never goes away, the pain. And then I have osteoromatitis. Uh, according to the doctors, I need two surgeries, an upper surgery to stick a rod to hold me up, and cadaver parts on the bottom. Well, I don't want cadaver parts. I want... What do you believe? My Lord. Exactly. Exactly. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we call into being right now new body parts over her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We curse this wicked pain in her body right now. We command these demons to come out. Get out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out of her body right now. All this pain, come out. Come out right now. Go. In Jesus' mighty name, go. Release. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. I speak calmness to her heart. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm looking forward to hearing a testimony. Thank you, Jesus. How can I pray for you? For my attitude. For your attitude? Okay, but at least you're being honest about it, huh? <laughs> Come forward a bit. Let's pray. <laughs> Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke every spirit of anger. I command it to come out. In Jesus' mighty name, we rebuke anger. Come out. Come out right now. Go. Release. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke anger. In Jesus' mighty name. I rebuke witchcraft down the generations. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Let's continue to pray. How can I pray for you? I guess for patience and understanding. Patience. Yeah, well, that's pretty good. That's a fruit of the Spirit, yeah? patience. <laughs> Father, in Jesus' mighty name, Lord, Father, we rebuke every spirit coming against her. In Jesus' mighty name, every devil right now sent to destroy, come out in Jesus' name. And Father, we just speak that spirit of patience in her, in Jesus' name. That's so wonderful that you ask for patience. I've never had anybody come up before asking me to pray that they would receive patience. And I think that's pretty cool. Hey, praise the Lord. I have two kids. I have two kids and I lose my patience with my youngest. Really? Oh, I see what you say. <laughs> oh, I believe that you've received it now. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hi there. Hi. I just want to get a general... You just want to pray? Yes, please. Yes, uh, just stand to the side there. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we bless him. In Jesus' name, we break off everything that is not of God, every unclean spirit right now, every devil sent to steal, kill, and destroy. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Come out of her. All of you. All of you, not one to be left. Not one to be left. They're all going now. They're all going now in Jesus' name. So if we can have some more people up here, let's, um, yeah, just, just while she's on the floor there, we just want to, to leave her while the Lord is, is working in her. If we can just have more people down here. Praise the Lord. How can I pray? First of all, I'm diabetic, and I, and I have a disease spells, and in my knees, and general curses. Generational curses. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke all this dizziness right now, all these curses right now. We rebuke diabetes, and we command it to come out of her right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you for your goodness, Lord. 
Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for a revelation of your love and this lovely lady. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. How can I pray? I want, I want my family to get together. We're separated. And I don't want the wisdom to know that I made so many mistakes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my husband's in the nursery, and I want to be near him. I want to have to move. And it's a lot of wisdom. I want wisdom to know the difference, to make a move. I don't want to make the mistakes. But most of all, I want my family to get together. Thank you, Jesus. Let's pray for, for your family. Any spirit that's sent to uh, cause a separation. Father, in Jesus' name, we rebuke every spirit of separation in this family. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, bless this lady. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I just want you to, to forgive them. I want you to forgive them. The Lord wants you to just forgive them, okay? In Jesus' name, Father, we lift up this family. Let's all agree. Let's just put our hands towards the Lord. We just lift up this family to you in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord, that you bring back all that, that's been lost in this family. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Join this family back together in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you for your word. I love his word. When two or three agree, it's got to be done. So we know it's a done deal already. Amen. And so is your deal before you even mention it. But how can I pray? Um, I've been having migraine headaches for 30 years, and I get up 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. In the morning. Every night? Every night with headaches and buzzing in my ears and I can't sleep and I can't sleep it's been a year. time to get rid of those migraines eh? wow just come forward we were up at 3am the other day having a cup of tea trying to get out of South African time <laughs> but it wasn't because of any migraine amen father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we rebuke these spirits of the migraines come out you headache spirits right now you devils come out Come out. Come out right now. Just pray in your heart, eh? Thank you, Jesus. Come out. Come out of her right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We rebuke these devils of insomnia, of, 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 uh, of high blood pressure. Yes. In Jesus' name, we break that power. We break off these wicked spirits right now. Come out of her head right now. Release down the generations. Are people in your family also suffering from that too? Okay, and we want to totally get this out. Now, Father, in Jesus' mighty name, I rebuke this generational curse. Come out. Come out. Come out of the family members. Come out of her. In Jesus' mighty name. So we've got a lot of testimonies coming up, and I'm looking forward to glorifying Jesus Christ for what he has done. Just a prayer over you. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we break off every wicked spirit right now, every demon sent to destroy. Come out of him right now. In Jesus' mighty name, come out. Come out. Come out of him right now. Every limitation. I'm seeing setbacks and delays in your life. It's like you should be a little bit further than what you're doing right now, and the Lord's going to move you to that. In Jesus' mighty name, come out of him. Come out of him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. I want to continue to pray for you. Come out. Come out. Come out of all of her. Come out of every part of her body. Infirmity. Witchcraft. Every demon right now sent to destroy. Come out. Come out. Come out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If I by the finger of God cast out devils, <laughs> the kingdom has come upon us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen.
people, all of a sudden I just felt kind of like sick to my stomach. Wow. And then like some like numbness. And I don't know, I know it's the enemy trying to, because I was interceding for all of these people that were manifesting. I know. I feel that at times too. Yeah, yeah, because he wants to stop one. So you pray for people. I want to pray over you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we rebuke these attacks. We command it to come out, to come out. In Jesus' mighty name, we rebuke Satan. We break his power over her right now. Power over, over her stomach right now, over her digestive system. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God is so good. And you too. How can I pray? Yeah. How can I pray for you, sir? Uh, well, we just want everything that the Lord wants this day. Yeah. Absolutely. He falls asleep, lot of, he falls asleep in church? I don't get real good sleep, so. Okay, so we need to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we rebuke these devils right now. These devils coming against us sleep. Come out, in Jesus' name, I rebuke high blood pressure right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, come out. Come out right now. Come out. The destroyer right now, I command you to get out. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 Have we, has everyone sort of come up that wants to come up to the front? Um, okay, so praise the Lord. Moving right along. I'm asking for generational curses from my family to make sure they're gone and it doesn't go to my children because my children are dealing with a lot of things I see from my family, but I left my family. God called me out and I left. And I've never you left your family? I left my family, okay. my parents, my siblings and all that, and I left it. And so when he called me out, I have broke a lot of the curses in my family but I see some still there in my children. Let's pray. Let's get rid of these generational curses. And also sickness, and I don't re receive them, but mm. there's a lot of heart and um, diabetes and things like that, yeah. and my oldest son is a diabetic. Let's get rid of it. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke every generational curse right now. We command it to come out of her. In Jesus' mighty name, go. Get out. Get out. Diabetes right now. Diabetes. High blood pressure. Her cholesterol, come out, come out of her son, get out, in Jesus' mighty name, go, release, release, come out of her, come out of her right now, come out of her, come out of her, in Jesus' mighty name, come out, come out, so if you rebuke diabetes, and people start to manifest and all that, don't you pray that eyes would be opened out there? Are people so blind that they cannot see what we fight against? So we're rebuking diabetes and it's coming out. Mm. And people will try and, sh try and shut down these kind of services because they fear, because of fear, because of Money? Money? But Jesus has done it for us. And he said to us from the start, I'm the Lord, I do not change. He's done everything for us. And we look to the world. Shame on us. Yeah? Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Often I like to rock boats. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That's coming out. That's coming out in Jesus' mighty name. How are you? Really good. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Um, I still need my asthma, but I just have like a small headache right now. Praise the Lord. Well, come forward and let's just keep in praying till we see the glory of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, rebuke asthma. Come out of her right now. Every spirit of infirmity, come out. Spirit of infirmity, asthma, come out. In Jesus' mighty name. 
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, come out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So I have a book called The Healing Power of God, and it's, it's outside there. And I have received healing myself just by, I think, getting into chapter 10 and declaring the Word of God. It is so powerful. I just want to encourage you to get hold of a copy of that book if you can. Um, we do have it on Kindle as well. Thank you, Jesus. Get out. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Firstborn. Oh, wonderful. And how can I pray for you? Say for direction. For direction. That sounds like a good prayer for a kitty your age. Come forward. <laughs> Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we cover him with the blood of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Father, for direction and revelation, revelation knowledge in his life right now. In Jesus' name, we just cover him from the, the snares of this world right now. In Jesus' mighty name. And we thank you for your goodness and your grace upon him. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 How are you doing now? All good? Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So now it's your turn. Yeah. Oh. yeah. You've waited a long time. At least you've caught people in the process, eh? Um, yeah, did, didn't think of it while I was catching. Um, I guess I'll go with, um, hmm. You know, I guess, um, can, I, can I just pray? How's that? Calmness. Yeah. Let's come forward a bit. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for your spirit, Lord, to come upon him. And we rebuke and break off every devil sent to destroy him right now. In Jesus' name, we cover him with the blood of Jesus Christ, and we thank you for direction in his life right now. In Jesus' name, rebuke every generational curse right now, and we command it to come out. Generational curses right now, release in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Let's pray for this gentleman. Amen. How are you? <sighs> stressed. You're stressed. Why are you so stressed? School. Homework, sports, and just work in general is hard for me. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's release that stress right now. Just come forward. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we release all that stress right now, all that fear right now. Father, we thank you, Lord. Let your spirit come upon him mightily in Jesus' name. Touch him right now. Touch him right now. We rebuke generational curses in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. It's really been so wonderful to be here. Amen. And uh, I just give thanks to the Lord for his wonderful mercies. Have I not prayed for you? Can I quickly pray for you? Absolutely. As I say, we keep in praying till the cows come home, hey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we rebuke every wicked spirit right now sent to destroy her. We command healing and deliverance in her life in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord, for your grace. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. How can I pray for you, sir? Um, so I, I was wondering if you could pray for me. When I pray, uh, I'd like to experience God more and just... You know, yeah, I, know, I know we prayed yesterday as well. Hey? Amen. So, so you just need to just, you know, the more we're going to experience God is the more as, as we seek him with all of our heart, we're going to find him. So I just want to encourage that scripture in your life. And Father, we thank you. We just anoint him right now with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Anoint him to do your work, Lord, that you've called him to do. We cover him with the blood of Jesus, and we thank you, Father, for your wonderful grace over him. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So, friends, I just want to thank you so much for, for coming here today. And I also want to encourage you. This is a beautiful church, and I want to encourage you, if you live in the Portable area, to 
to attend services here. I'm sure they'd love to have you. And uh, yeah, and I believe that they also do healing and deliverance here as well. So that's really wonderful. And uh, yes, so thank you so much for joining us here today. As we say, we'll be uh, in New Jersey on the 15th of March. Isn't that exciting, Eugene? Yeah. Amen. So thank you so much. And please pray for us. Uh, we're looking for monthly givers as well in the ministry. And I just want to encourage you to have a look on our website at www.christhealingcenter.co.za. We have a wonderful vision uh, to build a healing and deliverance center in South Africa. We don't quite know where it's going to be. Could be Cape Town, could be Durban, could be anywhere. But we thank the Lord, and if you would stand in prayer with us, I believe that prayer moves mountains. And the more prayer, uh, yeah, that's really great. You know, I'm not one that speaks about money or anything, and I know that many say uh, half the time we don't even do offering speeches because I'm, I just want to pray for people. I just, you know, time is short, uh, and uh, eternity is coming in on us. But we understand that we do need funds to run the ministry as well. So your prayers and support are really greatly appreciated. And we are wanting to come back here to California. And we believe that the Lord is going to open up new doors for us here as well. So thank you so much for coming along. And we love you all. And uh, God bless you. Thank you for having me. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and visit our website on www.christhealingcenter.co.za. God bless you.